Hey, I'm Mickey. Hey, I'm Shane. This is Mark. This is Chris. I'm Gary. We're Mickey and the Motor Cars, and this is the Texas music scene. You know, young Texas musicians today have some amazing songwriters to look up to. One name that tops that list is one of my favorites, Guy Clark. From songs like Desperado's Waiting for a Train and Randall Knife to his mentoring of artists like Steve Earle and Rodney Crowell, Guy Clark's influence on Texas music and songwriting is almost unequal. Our Texas legend, Guy Clark. Guy Clark uh, is a musical legend uh, without a doubt and uh, a huge mentor to me. Uh, I've written songs with him. I count it as one of the greatest achievements of my career that Guy Clark uh, recorded a song that he and I and Bill Lloyd wrote together. Guy Clark, uh, phenomenal songwriter. That's one of the first things that I, I heard whenever I went over to this place called the Yellow House in Stillwater, Oklahoma, where I lived with Jason and Cody. I had a chance to write with them not too long ago in Nashville, uh, and it was a wonderful experience. I sat you know, in his basement, and uh, behind me is a guitar he's working on, on his workbench, and he's in front of me, and uh, he's sitting like you are, and behind him is all these stacks of tapes, you know, of just stuff he's working on, or stuff he has worked on, or playing one of the guitars he, he made. He says, oh, you like this? Let me play it for the songwriting session. You know, there's a picture of Towns Van Zandt up here, and I look over on his workbench, and there's the Randall knife. And I said, is that the Randall knife? He goes, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, really, okay. Guy Clark, kind of, Kenny's kind of like the grandfather for me of, of real Texas country music. Guy really turned me on to, to being able to play just my guitar and sing and capture an audience, uh, capture their attention enough to have them listen to the words and have them listen to the guitar playing and have them really get out of the song what I wanted them to get out of the song. He's just, he's kind of like Willie with that, that, that aura of respect that you just look at him and you think, I want to hear what this guy has to say. Guy Clark is, I hold, I hold him way up there. He finds the most either extraordinary way to say something common or common way to say something extraordinary. I don't know, but he surfs that wave of just those, that word was almost a little, that was almost a $9 word, but it wasn't. It was the 750 word, you know, it was, he, he, he rides a wave that I think, I think few riders do, and he does it better than anybody else. He's, he's seriously one of my favorite, if you're just talking riders and the craft of doing that, he, he tickles my ear. Guy Clark is, uh call him a master craftsman, incredibly deliberate and pays uh, an amazing amount of attention to detail and uh, the nuances of a song, which uh, is completely opposite of how I do it. And it was really an enlightening, eye-opening deal to watch him work and uh, has written some of the best songs ever. You know, me and my band, Asleep at the Wheel, covered the Guy Clark song, Blowing Like a Bandit, back in 1988, and we were honored to do so. He's definitely one of the greats. Stay with us, folks. We'll introduce you to the rocking sounds of the Statesboro Review next on the Texas Music Scene. Go ahead and take it down the river.